I'm Abhir and you're watching the English Dictionary. Welcome back to my channel. So in my previous video, I talked about how to make a poster, poster making. And today we're going to see on the different types of sentences. And in my next video, I'll tell you how to change, like transform these different types of sentences. So now let's move on. Okay, so first, let me introduce you. One day, a little girl named Millie was walking to school. On her way, her friend approached her. She told Millie that today in school there will be an event in which all the students should attend. Millie agreed and kept walking. An old lady who was blind was crossing the road carelessly as she could not see. Millie stopped her from crossing the road as she might get hurt. The old lady thanked her and asked her for her name. Millie replied, My name is Millie. Then she continued walking to school. When she finally reached school, her class teacher told her to submit her homework on the table. Millie did what she was told and sat on her desk. Can you find where the different types of sentences are being used? What type of sentences are they? Okay, so um, I hope you understood this passage. And after we find out uh, about the different types of sentences and what do you call those different types of sentences, then we'll find out all the different types of sentences here. Shall we? Okay, so let's move on. So the types of sentences. There are four types of sentences, each one with their own meaning and expression when saying the sentence. So uh, each one with their own meaning and expression, which means each and every sentence has its own meaning. For example, I have a cat. So if I say like that, the meaning is that I have a cat. Yeah. So in my house, there's a cat. That's what the meaning would be. I own a cat. Yeah. So for the expression is when you're saying it, how do you say? Would you say it plainly? Will you will you say it like a question, or would you like just shout it out and yell it and enjoy your anger? You would just spit it out. How would you say it? So that's the expression of the sentence. So the four types of sentences are the declarative or assertive sentences, declarative and assertive are the same, imperative sentences interrogative sentences and exclamatory sentences so these are the four types of sentences in which declarative and assertive means the same things now let's see how each type is different declarative or assertive sentences declarative or assertive sentences tells about something it gives us information and usually ends with a full stop so declarative and assertive sentences they just tell us about something it gives us information and it ends with a full stop so uh, we all know what a full stop is, it's that little point thing which we put after at the sentence and in some sentence that would be something else rather than a full stop which we're going to be seeing uh, later on and it, it, it gives us information like I said I have a cat so I'm just saying it plainly like I'm giving information I have a cat in my house yeah so let's see some of the examples here are some examples for these kind of sentences. I'm going to the store with my family on Saturday. So it's uh, it's an information you're telling it to your friends or uh, your neighbor, somebody, and you're just saying it blank. You're saying I am going to the friends with my family on Saturday. So you can say it like that too. But how I'm saying is, if you're asking it like a question. What's your name? You would ask like that. So, I'm going to the store with my family on Saturday. So, uh, that's how you explain on a question. But for this one, the expression would be, I'm going to the store with my family on Saturday. Just a plain and blank um, expression for this. I'm going to host an event on Wednesday. So, you see the way I read it, it's just plain and blank. Not like, I'm going to the host an event on Sat and Wednesday. I'm not saying like that, right? It's a declarative sentence and it's giving us information. My teacher told me to bring this tomorrow. See? Yeah. So now let's see the next type of sentence. The interrogative sentences. Interrogative sentences ask a question. It can be a yes or no question or WH questions. An interrogative sentence always ends with a question mark. So interrogative sentence asks a question. Interrogative always uh, the word interrogative itself says that you're interrogating, um, you're like investigating something like that. Well, investigating has a different meaning to it. So interrogating, you're like asking questions to each other and replying to it. And it can be a yes or no question, which means like uh, they're asking you, is your name Millie? And if it is, you will say yes. If it's not, you will say no. And 
and wh questions are like uh, how what what is your name and you would say my name is really what are you doing and you would say i'm listening i'm listening to this video uh, so yeah um okay an interest an interrogative sentence always ends with a question mark so since uh, you're asking questions you would always put a question mark at the end and obviously it's a question mark here are some examples for these kind of sentences have you bought apples so this is a yes or no question and the way i'm saying it have you bought apples have seen have you bought apples so this also sounds like a question but will you win but if you see on the previous sentence i am going to the store with my family on saturday say blackly have you bought apples do you say like that no have you bought apples you gave a little expression to it did you finish your homework why are you crying so did you finish your homework have you bought apples these are yes or no questions whereas why are you crying is a wh question and because why has wh in it now let's see the next type of sentence imperative sentences an imperative sentence gives command it is used to tell somebody to do something give something give advice or make a request so an imperative sentence is like commanding others it tells somebody to do something like i'm telling you right now please uh, please subscribe to this video like and share so i'm i'm telling you to it i'm giving you something um somebody do something give something like i'm telling you please uh give this to your friends so that's her command which i'm telling you and give advice or make a request give advice is like this would do better this would do better than this one because this will give you bad luck and this will give you good luck and just uh saying something that sounds to give advice your friends will give you like a lot of advices and that's also an imperative sentence or make a request such as would you please would you please uh take the trash outside so please uh please is like request in a polite way so that's how you say it here are some sentences on this kind of sentence please come with me so this is uh, making a request do not forget that tomorrow you will have online class so it is used to tell somebody uh, something and it's also giving advice come to my office at 10 am for your report tomorrow so that is telling somebody to do something so now you will be confused declarative sentence also has a um, it also ends with a full stop and so does imperative sentences so how do you identify so you can identify in which sounds like a command to you such as it uh, as i have given a point here it is used to tell somebody to do something so when you um, if you don't still um, when reading you don't understand it just say it with your mouth and uh, whatever it sounds like does it sound like a question or a command it sounds like a command it's an imperative sentence so yes now let's see the next type of sentence and please don't get confused with declarative assertive and imperative sentences now exclamatory sentences an exclamatory sentence expresses strong feelings like joy happiness excitement etc these kind of sentences also end with an exclamation mark here are some examples for these kind of sentences hooray we won the match so just like i said hooray we won the match does that make sense with exclamatory sentences no it does not so i say hooray we won the match so you say with excitement like joy happiness and excitement um yeah how wonderfully she has played see how melodious the song is you say like that and some day uh, and sometimes uh, when you um, when it's your birthday and somebody gives you the best gift you want to say yay something like that right so that's how this is and you can easily identify it with the exclamation marks just for the assertive declarative sentences and the imperative sentences you have to uh, see about the sentence uh, punctuation it does not ma really matter you know because a declarative and those um, imperative they have the same punctuation so you have to see how the sentence sounds like if it sounds like a command it's an imperative sentence and if it's and if it sounds like a normal basic thing in which you're giving information to others that would be declarative or assertive sentences so hope you all understood the topics today thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe also don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified for more videos just like this also don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comments down below see you all next monday
बाय बाय